My name is Zotan Korsos. I am a zoologist uh, dealing with millipedes, myriapods, all together. And I'm the first time in South America in general. Uh, the TRC is, of course, the first also for me to visit. So the millipedes are arthropods. They usually are soil dwelling animals. Some of them are also arboreal in the forest, but the main habitat for them is in the soil. And you can find them by removing the soil uh, surface, the leaves, the rotten, decaying woods, turning over logs and try to find them one by one. So this is what we call singling individually, looking for them in the forest. But there are also some mass collecting methods like pitfall traps or sifting, when you are making some soil samples, soil extraction, and then sort them out, the, the minor one, the, the small millipedes. The big ones are easy to find, just to uh, look at them under the log. I found one here, for instance. This is a huge one and you don't need any equipment to find them. Just a pincer maybe, and then search for them under the logs. The millipedes are a very diverse group of animals and we know very little about them. Approximately there are 12,000 species known worldwide, but we estimate that maybe 80,000 species are out there, mostly in the tropical forest, and most of them are still undescribed. But they have a very important role in the life cycle of the forest. They eat the dead leaves falling down from the trees. They are the first animals to be able to decompose the dead leaves. And then they give it further to the earthworms, the mites and all other kind of animals. And finally, the dead plant material will break down into minerals, which can be used by the plants again. So that is a food cycle, a food chain. And the millipedes are very important members of this food chain. Here in Peru and in Tambopata in special, very little studies have been made so far. For instance, nobody has ever collected millipedes here in the Tambopata Research Center. So I believe that many new species can be found here. And uh, we would like to also know their role into the ecosystem of the Tambopata around. It. One interesting question arose for me here when walking in the forest is that not under every log you can find the same species. So they are obviously confined to a certain level, to the species of the tree. So botanists and zoologists should cooperate and to find out that what, for instance, this tree, what species is. And if I turn it over and I found a millipede here, which eats the decaying wood, uh, that should be an interesting relationship that what species eats what tree species. And that is a kind of an ecological investigation. And then we could see, also we could estimate the diversity and the abundance of the millipedes according to the tree species, to the different tree species.